everyone, it's Arusa, the foodie pro. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hi everyone, my name is Arusa, also known as the foodie pro, and with me today I have Adiba. Hey guys. Please do follow her on Instagram. Her Instagram is Adiba Akio. And today we are going to be doing a Q&A. So for a long time now, I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel and I've not let a lot of different things get in the way of it. So um, finally, I've decided to um, you know, get cracking and make a YouTube channel. So I did ask my followers on Instagram um, for some questions and in today's episode, we will be answering some of them. So let's get started. Great. So the first question is, where did you find your passion for food and cooking? So for food blogging, I'd say my passion started in university where um, I would go to different restaurants. I went to the University of Westminster to um, study a law degree. It was located right near Oxford Street. So a lot of my student finance went on shopping and on food. So I went to lots of different restaurants like Vapiana's and Tinseltown. And yeah, that's where I'd say my food blogging started from. Um, after a few years, I actually then decided to make a page, um, The Foodie Pro. And with cooking, that started in lockdown. So I was bored, I had a lot of spare time, and at the time the restaurants were closed. So I thought, let's recreate some of my favorite dishes like dynamite prawns and um, things that you know look presentable and also taste nice. A lot of the things I uploaded onto my page, it's the first time I ever um, created those. And it was a big hit. A lot of people were like, oh, you actually have become the foodie pro. Um, so yeah, that's where it all started from. Okay, second question. So what is your favourite dish to eat? My favourite dish to eat would be... Um, oh, there's so many. I do like Chinese food. I like lots of different cuisines. Um, but I have to say the best is biryani, chicken biryani. And I love Nahari. I'm a big meat eater. Steak, uh, uh, ribs, lamb chops, all of that. Love it. <laughs> okay, and what's your go-to comfort food? My go-to comfort food would be an afterburner burger, chicken burger, um, or chicken and chips from Tasty's or Lemon Crispy. Shout out to them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be my comfort food. Okay, and what is your favourite dish to cook, Arusa? My favourite dish to cook would be the easiest one, which I find, which is chicken curry, so chuza, as the base is the same as a lot of different Pakistani um, cuisines are. Um, onions, tomatoes, um, some spices, and then you just add in whatever ingredients you need to. So that's what I would say would be my favourite thing to cook, as it's the easiest for me. <laughs> okay, and the best biryani you've had in a restaurant? Best biryani I've had in a restaurant um, would be maybe Giftos in South Pole, um, also uh, Akbar's, they do a nice biryani as well. Yeah, it has to be one of the Pakistani restaurants. Nice. So, no more sweets or no more hearty food? Oh, that's a tricky one. Um, I love sweet stuff as you all know I've got a huge sweet tooth um, I even add sugar into hot chocolate like who does that but yeah and um, that would be really hard but to avoid diabetes I'd say hearty savoury food because yeah <laughs> right. why not samosas and all that <laughs> okay and um, what's the strangest dish that you have ever tried Okay, so I'm one of those, you know, strange people that will try things just to see what it tastes like and then probably never have it again, but, you know, at least I can say I've tried it. The weirdest one I'd say um, would be mugs, which is the brain of an animal. And the consistency of it was like omelette, like scrambled egg. Yeah, it was just weird. I had it, I had like one spoon and I was like, this isn't for me. Okay, and final question. What are your top three restaurants that you would highly recommend? Okay, so there's a lot of different restaurants I'd recommend, but my top three, um, the first one I'd say is the Farmhouse Coventry. 
Um, I think the food is really, really nice. I would highly recommend the Bomboy Bad Boy Steak if you love steak like me. And um, their desserts are really nice as well. And their pear drop mocktail is to die for. I, oh, that's so nostalgic. Um, another place would be Saffron Street um, in Ilford in London. Their masala chips are 1010, the best you'll ever have. So good. And the food is really nice as well. I took my parents there once and you know how desi parents, they only like homemade food, but they really enjoyed Saffron Street. And it's such a vibe, it's such a nice place. And the third place I'd say is Etsy Mehmet in Manchester. Their steak was so nice and I'm quite fussy when it comes to steak. Not everyone does it that amazing, but Etsy Mehmet in Manchester, they smashed it, they did it really nicely. So yeah, that'd be my top three restaurants to recommend. And yeah, that's the end of the questions. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, this little Q&A. Um, finally, I'm on YouTube, so we have a lot of content um, for you guys. And if you have any suggestions or ideas for future content, please do comment below. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like and share with your friends. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to showing you some more food blogging, hidden gems, um, cooking, so like some nice recipes for you guys to follow and yeah, so thank you and goodbye. Bye guys! Also follow us on Instagram, so my Instagram handle is the underscore foodie pro and Adiba's is just Adiba Kiel and I'll tag that below as well, so thank you for watching.